Okay, we're back now. Michael Shoverly from Richmond, Virginia, six questions away from winning $1 million. Can I ask you a personal question? You certainly not. Why am I more excited about this than you? <laughs> well, this is just so cool. You're such a supporting person. It just makes it easy for everybody. All right, Mike. Are you ready to go? Ready to go. Let's play for $32,000. Who wrote the best-selling book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus? Was it John Gray, John Bradshaw, John Grisham, James Redfield? Someone has suggested I'm from an entirely different planet from either of those, but that particular author would be John Gray for answer A. Final answer? Final answer. You're right, it's John Gray for 32 what your name looks like on the $32,000 check, but we want more. We want you to get more. Uh, here comes the $64,000 question, and of course, you know, if you don't get it, you'll always leave with $32,000. Check it out. What is the name of the chartered yacht on which Gary Hart traveled to Bimini with Donna Rice in 1987? Risky business. Business as usual. Monkey business. Show business. All four of them accurately described what was happening. Um, go for C, monkey business. Monkey business C. Confident? Confident, reasonably confident. Final answer. Final answer. You're right, it was monkey business. Michael, here it is. This is what it looks like. Your name on a $64,000 check. But no, no, we want you to continue. And now you're going for $125,000. Two lifelines still intact, 50-50, a phone a friend. Four questions away from $1 million. Here it is for $125,000. In 1912, the Titanic departed from what English port? Bristol, Dover, Portsmouth, Southampton. Try 50-50. 50-50, sure. Computer, would you please take away two of the wrong answers, leaving uh, Michael just one wrong answer and the correct answer, please. Dover or Southampton? I'm glad you knocked out the other one. Um, I would, my answer would be Southampton, uh, answer number D. That cleared it up for you? That cleared it up for you. Southampton. Final answer? My final answer. You're right, Southampton. $125,000. Big money. Thank you. Three questions away from $1 million, one lifeline left. We'll be right back to see how he does in a moment. Okay, Michael Shetterly at 125000 going for a quarter million dollars. Incidentally, if you miss this, you'll be reduced $93,000 back to 32000 But you're three questions away from uh, the million dollars, and you've got one lifeline. You can phone a friend anywhere in America. So if you are ready for a quarter million dollars... Ready for a quarter million dollars. Let's play. Traditionally, what form of address is used when writing a letter to a foreign ambassador? His or her eminence? His or her excellency? The honorable? Mr. or Madam President? I'd like to call a friend on this one. Sure, who would you like to call? Call my mom. Call your mother? Yes. We always go back to our mother, don't we? Yes, we do. What's your mother's name? Uh, you can try Nikki. Nikki? Yeah. All right. Our friends at AT&T will get Nikki on the line, see if she can help her son. Hello? Nikki? Yes, who? Yeah. Well, this is Regis Philbin from ABC's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, oh, okay. 
I'm here with your son, Michael. Oh. And he's calling for his mommy. Oh, what did I do? No. <laughs> yes. It's kind of very important, Nikki. He's That's won 125000 He's going for 250000 and needs some help with this question. When he comes on the line, he will read you a question and then four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. So the next voice you'll hear will be Michael. Michael, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts right now. Question is, traditionally, what form of address is used when writing a letter to a foreign ambassador? Is it his or her eminence, his or her excellency, the honorable, or Mr. or Madam President? Can I say, Michael, um, I think so, would I use Not, the microphone? No, just say something. Huh? Just say something, real quick. Uh, I think it's first. Sorry about that, but the time was up. Um, I will, my aunt, I will go for this one. And you will go for I will go for this one. You know, you can leave. You can walk away with 125000 right now, or risk losing 93000 Just want you to know that. Yes, I'll go for it. Better go for it. Uh, my answer would be his or her excellency, answer B. Pretty sure of this. Sure enough to risk closing $93,000. All right. Final answer? Final answer. His or her excellency is the right answer. You <laughs> Okay, here's a quarter million dollars, right there. Right there, made out to you. Can I touch this one? Yeah, you can touch it, sure. Oh, that's All right. right, there you go. Here's where you are. Two questions away from a million, going for a half million right now. You've won 250,000. You missed this, you'll be reduced 218,000 back to 32,000. So why don't we take a look at it? Let's take a look. Here it comes. What was the real name of Pope John Paul I? who served as Pope for about a month in 1978. Albino Luciano, Eugenio Pacelli, Giuseppe Sarto, Giovanni Braspi. Pacelli was Pope Pius XII, Sarto was Pius X. I'll say Albino Luciani, my answer would be A. No lifelines left, so I'm you have stuck to go with, with what you're... Yeah, you're stuck with yourself, which ain't bad. Albino Luciani. Albino Luciani. That's your final answer. That is my final answer. Half million dollars. Half million dollars. And you won it! This could be it. One million dollars. You've won a half million, going for a million. We're gonna come back and see how you do in just a moment. Don't go away now, come on. <laughs>